Hello teachers and welcome to the short video on uh, adding attachments or adding files from your Promethean Active panel and particularly from your OneDrive uh, to Schoology. So um, there's a couple of workflow things that I want to go over. I'm going to first show you what you can do from the OneDrive app and then I'm going to show you a couple of ways to speed things up. Now I've got this PowerPoint that I want to attach into uh, my Schoology course, but as I go up to the share button, I want to point out a few differences. If you choose any of these options along the bottom, you're going to notice that it's going to drop this file in as a link. Uh, and in most cases, that's going to be a link uh, by default to edit. Now, if you want to send the actual PowerPoint attachment, you're going to want to make sure to select send files and then choose your Schoology app. Now, the action that's going to come up here is for you to create a new assignment or a new update. So for example, if I needed to share this PowerPoint after uh, giving my short lesson, I can create an update to post that to my course. But this doesn't allow you to take this file from OneDrive and attach it to perhaps a lesson or an assignment that you've already created. So um, you'll notice you only have the create or submit options. You don't necessarily have the option to attach it to something that's already existing, nor do you have the option to add it just as a resource. So um, I'm going to switch back to my home screen and I'm going to show you what I can do from within Schoology on Google Chrome. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that uh, I'm using the web version at spart7.schoology.com. I'm logged into my school district's enterprise account and I'm going to add a material. I'm going to import it from resources and I want to point out a bridge that you can build between your OneDrive and what are called Schoology apps. So if I tap down on the apps option from resources You'll notice you have a Microsoft OneDrive resource app that you can tap on. Now it's not authorized by default. It is installed to our Spartanburg School District 7 accounts. You'll need to authorize it, which pops out a verification window. And then what you're looking at is within Schoology, uh, you're seeing all the files that are in your OneDrive. So I can scroll down back to uh, where I was looking for that PowerPoint. I can select that file and I can import it as a file into my resources. Uh, and remember, I'm on my active panel. So I can drop this file in to my uh, Schoology course. It's going to take a minute to pull it out of my OneDrive. But notice right away that PowerPoint is there. Assignments frequently have attachments, and it's easy to remember where to grab those from. Uh, I'm going to knock my keyboard out here. So typically, we would add a file attachment. And using the file attachment only forces you to choose from the Android system. Now, if I needed to add that attachment to an existing assignment, uh, I'd go back and edit that assignment. And notice how I have the resource option here again. I can attach this from the resources by going back to the apps, selecting my OneDrive, and notice how now again I can browse my OneDrive and select a file to attach to that assignment. So that bridge in the browser version is really great at uh, grabbing things out of your OneDrive and making sure they're there should you be in front of your class and have forgotten to attach them. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, watch for another video on how to make sure that your PowerPoints do work uh, when you're opening them from Schoology on your active panel. There's a couple other steps I want to show you in an upcoming video.